Hi there, this is um, Tim Williams from OKD SATCOM. Um, we're so excited, we've just taken delivery of our, our first U8 um, Climeta Geo Terminal. Um, it's um, one of the first off the production line, so I've been told. Um, the wait now is pretty um, pretty long for them, but I thought what would be interesting is actually you, you have a look at the system whilst I'm unboxing it. We're gonna get it powered up, we're gonna get it connected up, and let's see how we get on. Don't know how long this will take, but let's see. So, this is how it arrived. I've just taken the um, the, 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 the wrap off it, um, just so I can get to the boxes, and I've opened the boxes so I can see what's in there. Um, so we've got a couple of boxes on top. Um, this one's just got all uh, sort of DC vehicle, um, vehicle connection stuff. So that's the, the DC pack. Um, and if I'm right, then this will be the AC pack that gives you connectivity. That looks like instructions, so we'll have those. And, and this is this is the power supply. So I will put that over here, ready for the off. So at the moment, I'm going to be running it from um, from mains. Power, but obviously you can run it from two, um, from 12 volts as well. Uh, so, okay, let's open her up. Quite exciting. Whoa. So the first thing I notice is that it's much um, sleeker from the top. Um, the cover looks much sleeker than the U7, the older version. Um, and I will lift that out. He said. Now I think this is probably a two-man lift, but I'm going to put it on my trolley. But I'm a growing lad, so tell me. So it's about um, 20, 20 kilos. So not too bad. So. Here, what do we have? So we have obviously a DC input here, so that's gonna connect up to the AC input here. So. We won't power up just yet. I'll take you around the system. First of all, let's just get rid of these boxes. So, from the, this looks like the back. This is a, um, a twin fan unit. So I understand it's removable, so you just got some screws to remove it. And then, here's a removable panel. For the um, uh, for the uh, admin connectivity for Ethernet, but also for um, your SIMs, your SIM connection. So I'll just grab my screwdriver. Because we're gonna show you inside here. All the screws are the same, so um, and then this little panel flips down and then if you look under here what we can see is here's a cover for your sim card so you've got two sim slots behind that um, this is your admin port so we're going to plug the ethernet into there i think we're ready to get it powered up though so if you have a look there see what's happening so that should now be oh i didn't plug it in over here that should be powering up now Gonna do 
is plug this ethernet cable in So I can just control the system. So the antenna is booting now. Right, I see a green light, but I mean that's Sounds like a good sign. So if you come now over to the computer, so just, just a quick little, for those of the, you that don't know um, about Kymeta, Kymeta are the, the leading um, company um, with regards to flat panel antennas. Um, they, uh, they, the system's completely, uh, uh, complete with no moving parts. So we've got um, effectively on the top layer, a, a layer of LCD. Um, they probably have a better name for it than that, but, but actually it is just an LCD panel with lots of um, pixels on it. The pixels then switch on and off, depending on which direction the satellite is to focus the, um, the satellite beam to the waveguide, which is in the little layer underneath the LCD layer. So to actually track moving satellites, so with LEO, so MEO satellites, they're, it, they're already doing testing. The beauty of this is with the LCD sort of pointing, um, you can switch from one part of the, uh, the, the, the satellite arc to the other in a split second. Um, so actually tracking satellites that are moving over um, and then kicking back to the next satellite that's coming over is really easy with the Kymeta. Um, any moving dish is gonna be pretty much impossible unless you've got two antennas doing that job. So now we're connected up. Let's, um, let's go and have a look at the, um, the GUI and, and show you that. So if I put, brightness is on full. So I've already changed the network. Um, hopefully we can just connect. 168.44.2 um, and it is in okay so um, we're into the, the, the main GUI there um, what I'm looking at is um, uh, this modem section is saying connected uh, and if I go to the plots we're actually connecting here I've already uploaded the um, the, the options file into the into the modem um, so we really are just switching on and and it's it's on the satellite straight away so we're we're 39 degrees here it's showing um, and it's pointing solidly. We've got a carrier to noise ratio of around about six um, dBs here. Um, and that's a real time tracking and that will just keep running. So what I can do is, um, is, is just rotate the dish and let's see what happens. If you, I'm gonna spin the dish, but if you have a look at this screen here, and when I spin the dish, I've just done around 90 degrees of a spin there, probably as fast a spin as you'll get in a car. Um, and you can see, although we had a little drop and a little dip and actually a little up as well, little peak, um, it stayed rock solid on the satellite. Um, the direction here is changed now because it's um, finding the satellite. Um, if we do it from scratch one thing i haven't done is to see how long it takes to get to that point so i'm going to power it down now and let's just see can you see me here so we're going to power it up so the gui um will have stopped um so the system's just booting now 
if I refresh that I won't have it so it's, it can't connect at the moment Let's just see how long it takes to reboot from, from scratch. I think we're about 30 seconds now. Alright, so we're in, it's saying modem, it's waiting for the modem, it says the multi-WAN, which is the cellular connection is booting, but my SIM's not been activated yet, so, um, and let's just have a look at the plot, so we'll see when that is um, saying that it's on. So at the moment, it, carotenoids is down here. Right, so it's literally acquiring now, as you can see here, it's it's searching around for the satellite. Um, I haven't actually tried this before, so. And we should see the character noise. I think the longest time for it, there we go. The longest thing to boot is actually the modem. Um, and we obviously can't do anything. So the modem's integrated in, to, we've got an IQ200 um, iDirect modem integrated into the unit. We've got a dual um, peplink, um, dual SIM uh, LTE system to fail over to SIMs if um, we go through a tunnel, for example. Um, now, I'm gonna do some, some other tests now. I wanna show you, um, one thing we are here is, is on the edge of the, on the, edge of the um, Helisat beam, which is what we're, um, the, the, the satellite beam we're on. Um, um, our elevation is about 20 degrees. So actually the satellite is fairly close to hitting those trees up there. And if I move it a little bit further over there, I'm gonna be in trouble. If I move it back too far, then I hit the roof of my house. So, so really um, in, in, a, in a, a more beam central um, scenario, like, um, like the middle of Europe, we're gonna have a lot hotter um, carrier to noise ratios than that. We should be up at something like 10 dbs now what i can do is show you if i tilt the dish because the 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 system has more um sensitivity at higher elevations so um if i um angle the dish towards the satellite obviously um that's going to improve the, the 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 elevation um and it will be like simulating the carry to noise ratio of being in somewhere more central in europe so if you have a look at the carry to noise if i just tilt and I'll put like a 20 degree tilt on the, on the dish. You should then see the carrier to noise go up. And we're going up to about 10 there, I think. And I'll move it back down again. As you'll see through all of that, um, it's locked on to the satellite solidly. Um, never, never flinches. Um, so, yeah, I think um, for a first look, uh, I mean, I'll do some more tests, uh, but for a first look at the new Kymeta U8, um, I, think, I think it's extremely impressive and we're, um, we're excited to be, about being part of it. So thank you very much for watching if you've stayed this long and we'll speak soon.